Hello, welcome to this 10 part series, Designing and Building Engaging Instructional Videos. My name is Claudio Zavala, and in this first video, we're going to create a script using Microsoft Word. Here, what you're looking at is the video script template I have already opened up. And so I'm gonna walk you through the different sections that I recommend to use as a guide when you are recording your video. This is very important. It'll help you keep on track and keep on task. So let's look at the first section, which is an intro. Here you want to introduce yourself, who you are to your students or whoever's going to be watching your video. And then kind of walk through a lesson topic. This can be as simple as what we're going to be learning about today. As you can see here, I'm going to be talking about the phases of the moon. And then I add some notes here. Now these are bolded. This is for me to use when I am recording my video. I actually won't read these bolded sections, but it's something that reminds me of what I'm going to be doing in the lesson topic. So then I'll jump into the bulk of the video, which is the lesson again, introduction, following up what I mentioned in the introduction, and then give some key phrases. Now I may not read it verbatim, but this is just helps me get my lesson down when I am recording video. Again, I have some notes that I've bolded here to demonstrate what I'm going to be using in the video. And again, here I have some other bolded. This just reminds me as I'm recording what I'm going to need to include in the video and then close out the video or do an outro. This is a great way to wrap up the lesson. In this case, mine was phases of the moon. I may include some key words of phrases that were used throughout the lesson topic or the bulk of the lesson. And then do a call to action, maybe invite them to take what they've learned and the next time, in this case, they go outdoors at night, see if they can identify a moon phase in the sky and then invite them to the next video and close out. Once you're done with the script, one of the things you can do is actually rename the script for the actual lesson that you were working on and then file save as a new lesson and then reuse the same template for your next video.